I have wanted the Capex for years, basically since I found out about it. I bought my first uh, sliding miter saw maybe six years ago, something like that, five years ago, can't remember. And it had a bit of flex and you know, it's, it's a cheap tool, it's an evolution, it cost maybe maybe 150, 200 pounds, something like that. And then I just, so I started to read a little bit about them and learned a bit about different kinds of saws and I saw the Capex and I was just like, that is it, that's the one I've got to have. Now, unfortunately, one of the straps around the box was quite tight and it was pushing into the box a little bit. So here I'm trying to have a look at what it's pushing on. And as you saw there, I think it was only pushing on the ruler. Um, but unfortunately, it means it's really difficult to get the saw out of the box because the box is really tight around it. So I opened up the other end and I was able to push it and then my wife came in for a chat. Um, but I was able to get it out and I could see that it was only pushing on the ruler and the ruler was in... Um, you know, that kind of styrofoam stuff, so I think it was okay. So this is my first proper look at the saw. I've never used one. I didn't read the manual, as you can see there. I, I don't know what any of the buttons do, and so, I, you know, if I'd realized, I would have held the saw down as I cut that off there. Here I'm just trying to figure out what all the different pieces do. I've so, since learned that one of those is, I think, is the trenching depth gauge or something like that. But I've, I've actually not read the manual yet. I've not done a lot of cuts in the saw, so um, it's really just my first thoughts. I'm just kind of looking over it, feeling it all, and seeing does this match my expectation? Like, you know, I've, I've dreamed about this saw for so long. I'm like, is the fit and finish, is the quality of everything what I expected? I was really impressed with this clamp. It's really easy to use, very fast. Like. The clamp that I had on my other one, which you can just see in the background, I never used the clamp because you had to loosen something and tighten it and move it up and down and then twist it to, you know, twist a thread to tighten it and it was so slow. Um, whereas that clamp's great, it's very fast. You can see here there is a bit of deflection on the blade if I push the saw handle from side to side. I was, that was kind of one of the main things that I was looking for and I was a bit disappointed there is a bit of deflection, but you know, maybe I'm not going to be pushing it hard. Here I'm, I'm just checking the saw blade for squareness and you can hear that little tapping, it's slightly off square. So the bottom uh, is slightly too far to the left. So I need to fix that. I don't think I've actually fixed that yet. I'm not sure how to do that. I'll need to figure that out. But again, I was a little bit disappointed that the blade was slightly off square um, when it was arriving. Uh, in general, I think things like this, you know, feel really good, like that this moves nicely, but you can see that when I lock it down, there is still a little bit of play on it. and and. Yeah, I'd maybe expect that it was going to be a slightly tighter fit and finish. Um, here I've turned the laser on and I'm running the saw for the first time and it actually sounds, sounds a bit more... It's just a bit more rough than I expected. You know, you can kind of hear it there that, that it's a bit rough to start up. But maybe that's just how it is. I think at this point I was a bit worried, you know, has, it, has the box been damaged? Like, has it gotten a whack in there or something? But it cuts beautifully as soon as I did the first cut, um, you know, really nice cut. However, unfortunately, the lasers weren't properly aligned. So I, if you don't know about the Capex, it has two lasers that show you either side. Oh, sorry, tear out cam. Let's have a look. Yep, very smooth, very smooth cut. I was really impressed with that. So the way the lasers work is there's two lasers, there's one at each side, and so that shows you um, where the edge of your cut is going to be on either side. And I was quite surprised that both of the lasers are out. So you can see there, like that, that's a perfect photo to show that the left hand laser is inside the, the cut and the right hand one is over the edge. So you have to adjust these three um, screws. So I had a shot of that and got fairly good results. But the trouble is they're quite hard to see and the manual said they take a two and a half mil hex wrench but when I put my hex wrench in it very quickly felt like it was stripping the thread of one of those screws. So you can see the first couple there are quite tight but then the third one here this is how much slack there is in the hex wrench. So I emailed Festool and they sent me these screws which are plainly the wrong screws because they're uh, Torx rather than hex. So then I thought, okay, I'll, let me have a look inside the saw because I can't change the screws either without taking the case of the saw off. 
So I thought, okay, let me let me see if I can open up the saw, which actually turned out to be a bit of a pain. And I, in the end, I gave up trying to open it because it was quite difficult to get it to open any more than this, really. But when I did get it open and I looked inside, I also wasn't convinced what was going to happen when I took the screws out. Like I wasn't sure what they were holding or you know how it was all fitted in there. So. At that point, I made an executive decision and emailed Festo again and said, I don't think these are the right screws. Like, here's a photo. It's these screws that I'm talking about. And Festo actually came to collect the saw, took it away, um, realigned the lasers, replaced those screws and put a new sticker on it. So the sticker's not pierced anymore. It's all clean again. And it it's bang on. It works. And so problem solved. But it's, I guess it's disappointing that it didn't it didn't come right first time. At this point, I had to send it away for a week to get it fixed, but great service. They did fix it and all's well. So then I removed my old saw, popped the Festool in place, and the bed height is slightly higher than my old one, so it doesn't quite line up. Um, and I was going to lower the, the table that it sits on, then I thought, actually, I should probably make an easily adjustable table because, as you can see here, when you screw the screws in, it depresses down slightly because there must be rubber feet underneath it. So I think if I make a table that adjusts on some bolts or something like that and I can raise it up and down to get a perfect height, I will probably do that. Did some test cuts and as you can see the dust collection is really good and overall I'm pretty happy with the, with the saw. You know, it's probably one of the best in the class and it's a good piece of kit. If you'd like to see me do a full review of the saw, let me know in the comments below and also let me know what you think of the video. Cheers!